Hello and welcome. This is H with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. First thing we want to do today is start a new Android Studio project. And I'll go with you through the start, but I won't actually create mine because I've already got mine started and created. So we're going to create a, a new project called Multi Pane Fragment. So start a new Android Studio project. Call it Multi Pane project and I use mycompany.com just so uh, just so you know that way if you use that same thing yours should uh, look like mine unless you have you actually have your own company domain name you prefer to use then that's fine and then next and we're going to use 15 96.2 and the reason that we're doing that is because what we're working with right now Appy 11 or higher is required to run uh, the uh, fragments. So 15 actually has the same percentage of use as 11, 96.2. So we might as well run on 15 if we're going to get that high anyway. One of the things that you're going to want to note also in here is some other extra stuff, um, but uh, we'll save that for the comments. All right, so you want to go next. I would like for you to create an empty activity next and then call it my activity yes my activity uh, without a space yes my activity and then finish and you've got your activity up and running all right now let's look at this wonderful app that you're going to create there are going to be several uh, two fragments that we're going to be working with and before I get into the uh, Java files let's look at the XML files first okay we've got this this is the button panel and uh, it is just that buttons just buttons down the middle now I spiffed this up with a little green background I made the buttons a specific uh, height uh, let me see width 125 dp but that's not really important uh, for this for this purpose uh, just a button or just even a, just a text label would be fine uh, that's not important I am going to try to uh, develop this further for the next couple of tutorials uh, so buttons will be needed eventually but just slap something together and make it look like this and when we get into here nothing special just buttons all right now the next panel will be our main panel and again nothing special just just a just a pretty picture the main panel in the middle and then our layout activity uh, now there are some special things going on here and this is how we declare the fragment inside the activities layout file um, you and you can specify layout properties for the fragment as if it were a view and this right here is this is how you know you're calling on the fragments because of these special fragment tags each instance of a fragment class must be associated with a parent fragment activity. In this case, it is main panel fragment, and in this one down here, it's button panel fragment, pointing to our fragment. And those are these up here, the Java files. These are the actual fragment files right there. So that's what those are pointing to. All right. Um, when the system creates this ac these activities uh, layout, this activity layout it in, in, instantiates each fragment specified in the layout and calls the onCreateView method for each one to retrieve each fragment's layout. The system inserts the view returned by the fragment directly in place of the fragment element in this element. Uh, so you can you can mess around with this to make the view the way you want it to when you call the fragments because uh, this right here that's what that's for um, instantiate I put a little definition over here because it's kind of a big word it is to be represented as or by an instance in this particular case and what I also need you to do is of course you're gonna have to create the button underscore panel a main underscore panel and the activity underscore my XML and then when you've got this created or you've downloaded and, 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 and uh, gone to my web page and copied and pasted, you're going to have to create 
the landscape version because this is the regular layout and if you'll notice there there's a two here and you can't see it but if you go up here and click it no it's up here you can see that there's another folder layout on land right here uh, that's where this second one is and this second one uh, loads up a little differently depending on not whether or not you're a landscape or a pro uh, landscape or portrait in order to create this landscape view uh, which is going to be slightly different than our our other view I want you to go in here to our regular layout view go into your design go up here to this button and then create other directory name layout and you will go down here to orientation change it to portrait and you'll notice the layout port that creates that file that I just showed you and then OK and that will create another file that you can then use uh, to put this code in here and you'll have a 2 right here next to your activity MXL so and then our landscape version is a, almost exactly the same except for the second thing I made our, our panel very narrow so that when it loads up the it, it fits neatly on the side so there's that so but other than that they're 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 the same thing all right now let's get into the actual coding itself uh, we'll just go to my main panel fragment java and again if you don't know how to do this just go in here right click new java class and just make a blank one and put this material in here uh, now you can go to the trouble of a new and then making the new fragment but that's overkill you don't need to because most of the code is going to be provided for you and it's really not that much code um, a fragment is like a modular section of an activity which is has its own life cycle receives its own input events in which you can add or remove while the activity is running um, so they're they're little independent creatures themselves to create a fragment extend the fragment class every time you see a fragment you will see this now if you go down here you'll see this layout inflator the layout inflator takes the XML layout which we talked about back up in here this is the layout dictated by your XML and puts it in a view container uh, the view container is the view the fragment should be attached to a uh, saved instance state is passed if the fragment is being reconstructed from a saved state which we're not going to have to worry about uh, inflate is passed uh, to the layout XML to place the optional view to attach to and to attach to and true or false on whether to attach to the optional view named container uh, I'm going to kind of go over that a little bit later but that's that's this right there I'll talk about the uh, the arguments here in a second in a, in a, in a better easier to understand manner uh, they are layout main panel uh, is a reference to a layout resource named main panel XML which is right here as saved in the application resource or so right here so that's what that's referring to and that's what's being inflated uh, in this instance in this situation I have to be careful the words the words I use because programming things have a lot of different meanings in regular English okay this is button panel now you'll notice the only difference between these two is this button panel and main panel so that's really the only difference between I mean other than you know they're different class names uh, the container parameter passed to on create view and this is the container is the parent view group from the activities layout in which your fragment layout will be inserted so that your your layout will be inserted there, into there see all right the inflate method takes three arguments the resource ID which is this which we already mentioned is over here the view group to be the parent of the inflated layout uh, passing the container is important in order for the system to apply layout parameters to the root view of the inflated layout specified by the parent view in which it's going now there's a boolean indicator whether the third argument and that's false here 
uh, whether the inflated layout should be attached to the view group, the second parameter back here, during the inflation. In this case, it's not, it's false because it's already doing that because the system is already inserting the inflated layout in the container. And so passing true would be redundant so it doesn't, it doesn't pass true. Uh, so don't really have to worry about that. All right, and then my activity, your last Java. Um, a fragment must always be embedded in an activity and the fragment's life cycle is directly affected by the host activity's life cycle. Now you'll have, this is an activity, you will have an activity uh, every time, but you won't always have a fragment. And if you have no activity, you will not have a fragment because fragments cannot exist without activities. Now, if you have a fragment, you don't necessarily have to see the fragment. There are such things as fragments that are working in the background that are invisible to the viewer. Uh, so you don't even have to see them, but they can still be working. Okay, uh, hides the side panel from its, when in portrait mode, highlight this section and comment it out to see what happens. Now, what I want you to do is once you've gotten this all written, I want you to go through here and just take out this group of code right here. Just comment it out or delete it or whatever you want to do and see what happens. Uh, it just changes the formatting a little bit because this this isn't really germane to what we're doing. It's just it's a little bit extra uh, learning. So and this is uh, using a configuration and it, it determines the orientation portrait and will hide the side panel uh, if uh, it turns to this orientation. Now once you've got this all up and running you can run it. And one of the tricks that I wanted to show you I may have uh, I showed you in the text file before is control F11 and it has to be your left control on my keyboard I'm not sure if that's universal. We'll switch between portrait and landscape. So with that code as the way it is now your main panel is just that the main panel and this is just showing for example that you can have uh, an activity with just one fragment on it. And then we push Control F12, 11 again, and you go back here, and then you've got two activities going. Uh, repeated the main panel and the button panel uh, on this particular view. So there it is. Um, there's a lot of material in this, and I'm going to put some links at the bottom. I highly suggest you, uh, if you have questions and you get confused, that you go to the literature and you look around and get answers to your questions because uh, fragments are a big deal in uh, writing apps. This is H with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Glad you could join with me. Uh, be sure to thumbs up and to subscribe, and I'll see you later.